Just when Meta, Google, and the open source community thought they had a leg up on OpenAI, closing the gap in innovation, boom. OpenAI takes off their belt and puts everyone in their place once again. And they did it with a feature that no other LLM can compete with. I mean, let's face it, Google's Bard is still hooked on phonics. The wait is over, folks. The highly anticipated code interpreter is finally here. And this is pretty big news, even for OpenAI. People are claiming that Code Interpreter is really GPT-5 if you know how to use it. But for those of us who only use ChatGPT because we don't have real friends to talk to, what is Code Interpreter anyway? Code Interpreter is a new beta feature for ChatGPT Plus subscribers that allows ChatGPT to do way more than generate text. And contrary to popular belief, it's not just for code, its possibilities are endless. But I'm going to show you 5 cool things it can do on this episode of AI Wizard. But that's not all. Anthropic's Claude 2 just dropped as well, and it actually performs better than GPT-4 in some areas. So make sure you stay till the end to see Claude 2 stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the almighty ChatGPT Code Interpreter. First, let's get the obvious out of the way. Code Interpreter can run, execute, and test code. But only Python code, so don't get ahead of yourself. It's a sandboxed Python environment where you can use Python code to execute any task you want. Bear in mind though, you can install libraries of your own because it's a sandboxed and firewalled environment that comes with 300 plus libraries and packages. This Twitter user created Flappy Bird using just Code Interpreter. Anytime code didn't work, he just asked GPT-4 to fix it by copying and pasting the error code and asking GPT-4 to regenerate it. Anyone who doesn't know how to code could just follow his directions in the tweet and then use a system prompt to learn what they're doing as they do it. It reads, act as a senior programmer very good at explaining concepts to a beginner. Tell me how gravity works in this game and how you used code to make this happen. Yet Code Interpreter is kind of a misleading name because it's not just for coders. It's really useful for anyone, which leads us to its second ability. You can upload and download files to Code Interpreter and even convert them. It even gives a temporary disk space for your uploaded files, including all the relevant file types like TXT, PDF, doc, JPEG, PNG, and you get the gist. You basically have a computer inside your chatbot with compute resources and disk space, which sounds like the premise for the worst Black Mirror episode ever. But you may be asking, what is this magic? How does it even work? Well, the short answer is code. Code Interpreter runs Python code right in the ChatGPT interface. For example, if you wanted to convert some files, it creates a Python script and executes it right there. All you have to do is upload your file, then you can switch tabs back to that YouTube video you were watching about Marvel Easter eggs, and uploaded files are discarded after the chat session. As far as file size limitations, an article on Bebum says, OpenAI has not mentioned the file size limitation for Code Interpreter. Many have suggested that it can handle files below 100 megabytes, but we uploaded a 170 megabyte PDF file and it worked fine. In other words, try to see how big of a file you can jam into it and leave your answer in the comments. I'm asking for a friend. You can even use Code Interpreter to change images to video. Look at this example where another Twitter user uploads an image and then asks ChatGPT to animate the image from left to right. Here's the exact prompt to use. Once you enter the prompt, give it 30 seconds and ChatGPT will produce a download link for the video. People are creating mid-journey images and then zooming out. It's the new craze. You've got to try it. The fourth and the most common use of Code Interpreter is data analysis. Data analysis is a very important process that extracts valuable insights from raw data, allowing businesses to make decisions that make more money. You could prompt ChatGPT with, tell me what's interesting about this data, and ChatGPT will provide insights about a user's data like it's your very own data analyst, if your data analyst were a permanently indentured servant. This means financial analysts can use it to analyze stock prices and prepare budgets, Marketing teams can segment their audiences and create better targeting for campaigns. HR teams can analyze employee data and identify trends in performance to make hiring decisions. And healthcare systems can use Code Interpreter to improve patient care. This user from Twitter asks Code Interpreter to identify the 10 snowiest winters in Worcester, Massachusetts based on the data because everyone knows how important that is. 
Code Interpreter first explains what it's going to do, and then it creates a table with years on one side and inches of snowfall on the other. Then the user tells ChatGPT to create another column that shows the dates of the longest snowstorms. The user goes on to tweak the data analysis in a variety of ways, and it looks like he found a new hobby. Who needs Netflix when you have this? Before we get to the fifth cool thing, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it. Now back to the video. The last cool thing Code Interpreter can do before we get to Claude 2 at the end of the video is data visualization. Some dude named John Backus asked ChatGPT to visualize trends based on a CSV file of San Francisco crime data, and this was the result. Look at what this random guy on Twitter named Ethan Malik created. It's a map of every lighthouse location in the United States via a CSV file. His prompt was, create a GIF of a map of the lighthouse locations where the map is very dark, but each lighthouse twinkles. And voila, welcome to the future, folks. He even made a 3D chart of the Billboard Hot 100 list. Something tells me he has endless visualizations of random things that don't need visualizations. Someone check on him. All that's well and good, but once you have your subscription, how do you actually get to Code Interpreter? Well, once inside your account, you go to Settings, select Beta Features, and then activate the Code Interpreter option. Once the beta feature is activated, you can select the Code Interpreter option for any situation. You'll even see the prompt field has a new area to upload files. Pretty darn cool, right? Now it's time to look at Anthropic's Claude 2 that just dropped within the last couple of days. Claude is Anthropic's very impressive chatbot, known for its friendliness and enthusiasm. But Claude 2 has come to the party with way more than a smile in his own bottle. Claude 2 can code really well. It scored 71.2% on the human eval, a Python coding test, whereas GPT-4 scored only a 67%. Hmm, maybe this video should have been about Claude. In this video, you can see a user upload two files and ask Claude to summarize the first one and create a table for the second. And I like how clean the user interface is. Here's an example from another Twitter user where he asked Claude 2 to extract a text summary from a PDF invoice and present it in a neat table format. I don't see any crazy file capabilities here, so I'd say Code Interpreter wins the file battle, but the real standout for Claude is its 100K token length. No one is competing with them in the context length department. Claude is writing books out here, but the regular ChatGPT, you would ask a question and ChatGPT would answer. But that's so last week at this point. With Code Interpreter enabled, the LLM can find an answer by running code, perform way more complicated calculations, and generate charts based on data that a user uploads, which is also completed by code. Some even say Code Interpreter reduces inaccuracies by ChatGPT. Add the fact that Claude 2 actually codes better and is writing books, and these new advancements completely change the game, my friends. I can already see a world where ChatGPT is a necessary tool for every single job on Earth, and GPT-4 has only been out for four months. So what does life look like in four years? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. In my next video, I'll be going in depth on Claude 2, which I think is GPT-4's first actual competition. See you there, and thanks for visiting AI Wizard.